boy oh boy talk about your perfect diet salad loaded with high protein you came to the right place today we are making a korean side dish salad called broccoli tubum wuchim you can have it with just korean rice as a simple side dish or you could serve it as a chilled side salad dish at your next barbecue party and for my vegan friends you came to the right place today 오늘의 밑반찬 레시피 브로콜리 두부 무침 오늘도 여러분들과 양호를 함께 하겠습니다 Bon appetit! Hi everyone, this is Helen and welcome to Modern Pepper 안녕하세요, Modern Pepper의 헬렌입니다 We need about 6 ounces of fresh broccoli including the stem or just the florets only and just tr start trimming around it cut it down the middle and then open and then cut it by the base like so and we're just going to cut everything into bite-sized pieces So here's my tip on what to do with the broccoli stalks. Take a peeler and just peel the exterior off because the exterior skin is very tough and very, very fibrous, so we're going to discard that. And then cut it into thin strips, like so. In a small pot, fill about halfway. Once the water comes to boil, we're going to add one tablespoon of salt. Ooh, just slowly. Then we're going to add the stalks first in here. And then the broccoli. And from here, I want you to literally start counting 15 seconds. That's all we're going to do. When you add salt to your blanching liquid, it brightens the color of your greens and it also enhances the taste of your vegetables. All right, we're going to turn this off and bring this over to the sink. Rinse it with cold water. And then we're just going to put it in our ice bath and let it hang out for a little bit. So we need a half a container of extra firm tofu. Just cut it down the middle like that. So it's about seven ounces. And then flip it over like that. And here it is. And then the other half, put it in a container with cold water. Put a lid on it and put it in the fridge and eat it within three days. Now when you're to take your extra firm tofu using a cheesecloth, we just want to squeeze out just a little bit of the water, not too much. Just, just like so, maybe like four, five slight squeezes. And then just dump it in here. And then just break it up with your hands. that and then to this we're going to add about a tablespoon of scallions just the green part only i'm going to add two generous pinches of salt maybe three we're going to add a generous sprinkling of gesogum this is crushed roasted sesame seeds with salt and a generous drizzle of sesame oil, about a half a tablespoon. Lemon zest. This part is optional. 
you don't have to do this. So when it comes to lemon zest, you want to pick a spot and go one, two, three, and then turn it over. We only need just this much. Now, when you start zesting, it's only the yellow part of the skin that gives it that flavor. And then just mix everything up. The fragrance from the sesame oil and the crushed sesame seeds smells wonderful. Okay, taste it. Mm. For me, that's the right amount of saltiness. Saltiness is very, very personal, so add more salt if you like it saltier. Some people will like it saltier so that with Korean rice together, then it's perfectly balanced out. So season to taste to your preference. So take out all your broccoli. See, always taste as you cook. Mm. It's crunchy and that's what we want. It tastes really, really yummy because the salt that we added to the blanching liquid just made the broccoli just come out with so much yummy natural flavors. Do it at home and you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. And then just mix it up. And it's as simple as that. So this part's optional. Take one small radish and just slice it as thin as possible. You do not have to add this if you don't want to. Soak in cold water for 15 minutes if you want to extract the bitterness of the radishes. And then you could just add them in random places. It just adds a nice layer of that refreshing radish taste. And you can make this a day in advance and enjoy it as your barbecue side dish. And always garnish with sesame seeds, with gesogum. And we're done. Take a little bit of Korean rice and a small piece of the broccoli, some of the tofu, piece of the radish, and a piece of avocado and a little bit of gochujang like that. This is how I would eat it. Bon appetit! This is a bite ball. It's crunchy, creamy from the mm. avocado and the gochujang, but the broccoli and the radish and the tofu is such a great combination. Say ah! And all you need is a piece of kimchi with it and together, oh, so simple and yet so, so gloriously yummy in your mouth. I want to thank everyone for watching today and if you enjoyed watching today's video, I would greatly, greatly appreciate it if you would click on that thumbs up icon and subscribe if you did not subscribe yet so we can make more Korean dishes together. 여러분 오늘 재밌게 보셨으면 꼭 좋아하는 버튼 눌러주세요. 구독 버튼도 눌러주시고요. 감사합니다. 다음 비디오에서 뵙겠습니다. And I will see you in one of the videos you see right here.